Hi, Vladan. Thank you so much for joining and thank you for showing your amazing work at Money, Ruins and the Sea. So um, before we start with a couple of questions that I have about the work, would it be okay to give us a little bit of an overview about your research and practice? Um, hi, it's really nice to, to, to speak with you. It's always a pleasure to be uh, part of uh, such amazing uh, 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 concepts and, and and shows and so basically what you saw there it's called the uh, new extractivism and uh, that map it's maybe a bit different than than other maps that i was making before so because like this research started maybe now almost like 10 years ago and uh, so it started with really from some kind of um, technological perspective or technological uh, investigation side. So first we started to investigate some, you know, networks, and then after that algorithms, data centers, so on, so on, so on. And then basically this re research exploded in many different fields with anatomy of an AI system. And we went into this kind of geology of devices that we were investigating. And then when I was doing all of those investigations, I, I realized in, in, in some moment that, you know, all of those like technical investigation or legal investigations, they, they can give you, you know, an answer to, to the question, how something is working maybe. But but I was more struggling with the with the uh, uh, so I was trying to to find a way to understand why or or what's the meaning of all of those um, let's say topographies or 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 large scale systems that I was investigating and then for that for me it was like really important uh, uh, and. To, to use a different angle of seeing. And that different angle was like mostly like critical media theory or, or philosophy. No. So aside from those like maps before, I was always like, uh, uh, let's say making some kind of like drawings or, or sketches how those like uh, philosophical concepts will look like in form of you know, patent or, or 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 how we can visualize them differently, and then at the end, you know, somewhere around like two hundred two thousand twenty, I I started to to out of those like little concepts and drawings started to to make this kind of big map that is basically some kind of assemblage of all of those things together, and this is how I made the map. It's called the. Uh, uh, New extractivism, and then out of that, basically, this video that you show it's some kind of it's a it's a let's say the same map, but in 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 different medium. No? That's great. Yeah, what I, what I really uh, find fascinating about the new extractivism is, as you were saying, like how from your previous work you go into like the bigger picture and also connect the dots somehow in terms of how everything is kind of. Uh, you know, relevant and connected to. And, but it'd be great to hear what forms of um, extractivism you're exploring in this work. So, and how how is this different from how we previously understood um, mm. extractivist practices? No, I, I think like the the if we go back, for example, on anatomy of an AI system, the 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 middle part of this map, it's showing this like classical form of exploitation that we are thinking when we are thinking about our relation with this kind of technological system. So it's like exploitation of data, it's about privacy, it's about security, it's about this kind of surveillance, let's say. But then when we extended this to, to this geology of, of, of media point of view, then we understood it, okay, it's not just about that. It's not just like exploitation of our data. It's also exploitation of earth, no? And it's also exploitation of human labor, but not this kind of like a human labor in a sense of like immaterial labor, but like real 
uh, uh, hard labor, like in 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 a, in a, you know extracting metals in mines, or like assembling, or like all of those traditional forms of of labor. So, and and then with that understanding of that led me to to kind of extend this uh, uh, story into new extractivism. And for me, even from before, for example, from like this Facebook algorithmic factory map, I was like really intrigued by this new uh, uh, labor relation that exists when we are interacting with those systems. So, and, and for me, like this question of factory was like really important because I was trying to understand through all of those maps, I was trying to understand like our position as a as a as a human being, as a user or whatever. Uh, is it like position of of resource? Is it position of labor, or is a it's a position of product? And at the end, I realized maybe with 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 uh, the new extractivism that that we are are basically taking all of those positions in the same time so this is some kind of difference than 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 let's say this kind of traditional marxist tri triangle of when we are you know like one of those three things now we are kind of all the time there being like resource and and product and and and, and worker in those systems so and then and then uh, the important part is like that we, you know, we should try to understand if we are seeing, for example, the new extractivism, you see that there are like so many different types of labor relations, you know, and uh, um, for me, it's like really uh, what was like really somehow different. It's trying to understand us like as a resource in this relation in, in in which we are the the earth we are the 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 resource that is being exploited you know in sense of like uh, uh so if you think about so now you have like all of those like you know uh, i don't know emotion uh, economy um, reputation economy attention economy that means like in in those economies our emotions are resources. So that means that we are playing the role of resource there, that our emotions are being like excavated and, and, and extracted and transformed into profit. And then more I was thinking about that and, and, and new extractivism is showing some of those things. It's like those like fields of extractions are going deeper and deeper and deeper into our bodies and into our minds, our conscious and subconscious. And, and it's a process in which like thousands of companies are basically trying to find a way, find, trying to, to, to build the tools, how to excavate those layers of our bodies and minds. And, and in that sense, if, if we look in some kind of wide, uh, wider picture, like we don't need to do anything anymore in order to be a resource, in order to be extracted, in order to be part of this new extractivism. So we just need to exist, you know, because when when you live in this kind of uh, uh, total surveillance, because basically we live in some kind of like a age of, 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 of total surveillance, but not in a sense of sur surveillance, uh, I will. I, I will maybe even say that it, that maybe surveillance. It's not the right word for that. Like, for example, like Shoshana Zubov is speaking about this, like surveillance uh, capitalism. But in a way, I think the surveillance word it's it's maybe like a bit misleading. It's more like some kind of like uh, uh, extraction and and some kind of like uh, exploitation of our bodies. More than than because surveillance. When you hear surveillance, you think somebody is watching me. It's like no, nobody is watching you. They don't care what you do. It's just like yeah. extraction. Like I somebody agree. Is extracting yeah. me. You know? So in that sense, I I think uh, that's a bit different. No? Yeah, I agree. I tend to kind of think of towards 
um, quantification and monetization and financialization rather than surveillance and, uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, voting yeah. over yeah. because in the end that's what it and and this is how I was thinking about the the context of money ruins in the sea as well and these extractivist uh, relationships mm. as well but but also just I I'm I'm wondering if you do if you if you think if we can, if these relationships can ever change, like, do can we ever go beyond that or go back? Because it feels exactly as you say that we kind of we don't need to do anything like to to be exploited, right? It's it is it it's it's happening at so many different levels. So so do you think that the fact that we can now understand maybe this? A little bit more, or hopefully, like maybe, maybe not yet as much. But do you think that we could potentially move beyond that? Well, I'm I'm probably not not the best person to <laughs> to speak about that. I, I I'm re- I'm always failing in giving some kind of like a, a good uh, and and positive projections. But but what is considering for me? It's like now in 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 this. The research that the new map that that I'm doing with uh, again with with Kate Crawford, we are looking back into histories of all of those systems in like five hundred years of all of those systems. And then when you're seeing from that perspective, you understand that 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 maybe this what we are living now, it's some kind of peak, or maybe it's even not the peak, but but it's like, it have like a long history of 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 basically building of all of those systems and 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 they're built up on on some values like for example we can think about that as a, some kind of continuation of like a colonial relation or continuation of of uh, um, you know scientific racism or 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 eugenics or or so it's not isolated thing it's a it's a it's a 500 years minimum 500 years of 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 building up this absolutely and and then it's like really you know in the same way like for example if we go back to anatomy of an ai in the same way in order to fix what is like shown there you will need to you know deal with like global inequality you will need to 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 deal basically with contemporary capitalism and that's like so hard to think of like changing that like for example changing inequality like how crazy it will be that all of us we are not paid equal, equally but but in a way like that maybe inequality it's one to five but not one to 500 million. <laughs> so that's that's the... the, the, the mm. So I, I think if we, if we want to fix all of that, we need to try to, do, to, to deal with some kind of core values that we believe in. And this kind of surface fix, I don't know, I'm not, I don't think it's, it can fix anything, you know, if we don't fix the core value uh, that we believe in. Yeah, which is sadly where we go back to like the superficial kind of fixings rather than thinking about the root causes of all of yeah. this, right? Yeah, Thank you yeah. so much, Vlad, and it's great to find to hear more about the work and uh, look forward to what happens next and the, the new map that you're working on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you a lot. It's really a pleasure.